Math 083, Final Exam Review, Problem 27, Part B. We must graph the parabola given by this equation. We will do so by determining its vertex, its x and y intercepts, and plotting those points. We will also identify the domain and range of the function. In Part B, we are going to graph the parabola whose formula is given by y equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 5. Notice that because the value of a is negative, a is negative 1, we know for certain that the graph will open downwards. Roughly speaking, it will look like this. Let's begin by finding the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is given by the formula opposite of b, or negative b, divided by 2 times a. b is negative 4. So we have the opposite of, or negative of, negative 4. a, as we mentioned a moment ago, is negative 1. In the denominator, therefore, we have 2 times negative 1. We have 4 divided by negative 2, which is negative 2. Again, that is the x-coordinate of the vertex. To find the y-coordinate, we will take the x-coordinate, which is negative 2, and replace the variable x with that value. Since we are inserting a negative value, we will wrap it in parentheses. So the y-coordinate is negative of negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 plus 5. Order of operations require us to compute with this exponent first. Negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. So we have negative of this positive 4 result and then the rest of this. So this is negative 4. Here we have negative times negative, that's positive. 8 plus 5 and 13 minus 4 is 9. Therefore the vertex is the point negative 2 comma 9. Let's plot the vertex. From the origin we move to the left 2 and then up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Next we're going to find the x-intercept or intercepts, if any. All x-intercepts have the form some number x comma 0. The y-coordinate is 0. That means algebraically we should replace the y variable with the number 0 and solve for x. This equation that we have to solve for x is a quadratic equation. We can employ any one of our methods for solving quadratic equations. I will factor. To make life a little bit easier, because the leading coefficient is negative 1, I'm going to factor out that negative 1. Inside the parentheses, the terms will have opposite sign. And just double check. Negative times positive is negative. Negative times positive is negative. Negative times negative is positive. Inside the parentheses, this quadratic has leading coefficient positive 1, which means we can factor through a shortcut. We need simply to find two numbers that multiply to negative 5 that add up to positive 4. Those numbers are positive 5 and negative 1. So we can go straight to the factoring. x plus 5 times x minus 1. Now to solve this equation, we set the variable factors equal to 0. x plus 5 equal to 0, solved by subtracting 5 on both sides, giving us x equals negative 5. We also set x minus 1 equal to 0. Add 1 to both sides, we get x equals 1. So the x-intercepts are the points negative 5 comma 0 and 1 comma 0. We go to negative 5 on the x-axis and 1 on the x-axis. Now let's find the y-intercept. Any y-intercept has the form x-coordinate 0 comma some number y. This means we replace the x variable with the number 0. When we do that we have negative of 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 5. 0 minus 0 plus 5 is 5 and the y-intercept is 0 comma 5. 5 on the y-axis is where we plot it. If we wanted some more accuracy to help us sketch the graph, we would need to plug in some other numbers for x. We might plug in x equals negative 1, x equals negative 3, and x equals negative 4.
when we plug in x equals negative 1, we get y equals 8 from the origin 1 to the left and up 6, 7, 8. Plugging in negative 3 for x, we have negative of 9 plus 12 plus 5 and 17 minus 9 is 8. So we plot negative 3 up 8. Plugging in negative 4 for x, we get negative of 16 plus 16 plus 5, which is 5. So we plot the point negative 4 comma 5. We see this opens downwards as we had suspected from the beginning. What we have done here at the end of our plotting is make a table. We took x values, plugged them in, created corresponding y coordinates. Let's talk about the domain. For every quadratic function of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, since you can plug in any number for x, the domain is all real numbers. Sometimes we write it like this or in this form. With quadratic functions, there's no guesswork about the domain. The domain is a set of all real numbers. The range usually takes an assessment of the graph. The range is the set of all y values. We see the greatest y value here at the vertex. So the range is all real numbers less than or equal to 9. We can write y less than or equal to 9, or very similarly, negative infinity less than y less than or equal to 9, or an interval notation, open bracket, negative infinity, comma, closed bracket, 9. 